Okie dokie, we got a tricky problem here, at least tricky in terms of graphing this thing out, because this does not look like a fun looking figure or line. Actually, not a figure, but a funky line. And what I'm going to do is just graph out enough. I don't spend too much time doing this. And I want to see what are the salient points, those points where the graph goes through. And for me, it's easy to see right here. It goes through 0, 1, and goes through here, 1, 0. And from there, we can draw it up like that. There's a point at 2, 1, and then the point over here. And then it, this crazy thing goes all the way up to here, which is negative 1, 2. And then at that point, it goes down, crossing here the x-axis at, or through the x-axis at negative 2, and just goes all the way down like that. Now that I've drawn that, or at least somewhat try to approximate that, what is the actual question asking for? And this, of course, is where it gets a little bit tricky. So let's do this a step at a time. And we have here, an extra parenthesis, don't want to miss that. We have a double function. So we first want to deal with the inside. What is f of negative 1? What does that mean? Well, you can think of what's inside here as the x-coordinate. That is, at negative 1 right here, what does y equal? And that answer will give you, which actually, actually go like that, that's better, will give you the number that goes in parentheses there. So we could essentially get rid of that, and then we're left with negative, we're left with a number. So what is the y-coordinate when we have x is negative 1? So there's negative 1 again, and then we can go straight up like that, and we have y is equal to 2. So just like that, we can replace f of negative 1. We've answered the question, f of negative 1 is equal to positive 2. So we can put 2 just like that. Now we need to answer what is f of 2. So again, this always corresponds here to the x. Sphere. So we have 1, 2, right there. So the x value or x coordinate. And when x is 2, what does y equal? Well, we've got to go up because according to the line, y is equal to 1. And just like that, we have our answer, which is D.